Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the tripod lashing. Now the tripod lashing is one of those skills that any outdoorsy kind of a person needs to know. So if you're into camping, bushcraft, survival, the tripod is a very handy tool to have. Now, why would you use a tripod? You can use it to cook, you can use it to make a stand, you can use it to make a tent, maybe even a table. In fact, this very video is filmed with the camera mounted on a tripod. So the tripod is very well known for its stability and knowing how to make one is a very useful skill. With that said, what are you going to need for a tripod? You're going to need three sticks. I recommend that the sticks are as straight as possible. This is going to make your tripod the best it can be. So three very straight sticks. Then a single piece of cordage or rope is going to be needed. In my case I'm using paracord and I'm going to use this piece of paracord to do my tripod lashing. Let's get started. To start our lashing we're going to take our cordage and we're going to attach it onto one of the sticks using some sort of a hitch. In my case a clove hitch. I'm going to start at one end of my cord make a loop, make a second loop, place the second loop over the first loop, then place both loops over one of the stacks. Tighten up and what you have is a clove hitch. After tying the clove hitch it is time to add in a series of racking turns. These are very simple. All we do is take our cord, we travel under the second stick, so the middle one, and over the third one. Then under the third one, over the second one, under the first one, then over the first one, under the second one and over the third one. Then under the third one, over the second one, under the first one. And you can probably already see the pattern. So all we're doing is wrapping around our three sticks like this. Now generally you will want to do 7, 8, maybe 9 sets of racking turns. After doing a number of racking turns, we're going to tighten up our lashing using frapping turns. Frapping turns start off in between two sticks, we travel in between them, then go across our racking turns, so in this case I'm going to go under them, and come up in between the two sticks. Then travel across the racking turns on the top, tighten up a bit, then go down again in between the two sticks, under the racking turns and up. Then again, 
across over the top, tighten up. Then under the second stick like this, then repeat the frapping turns again. So over the top and down. Then up in between the second and third stick. Tighten up, across again, down, and up, and tighten up. After adding our frapping turns, it is time to add a finishing hitch, which is going to hold our remaining cord. So again what I'm going to do is make a loop, pass it over my stick, and tighten up. Make a second loop, like this, pass it over the third stick, tighten up. And with this your lashing is complete. Now let's set it up and see how it looks. After tying the tripod all you need to do is set it up. The way that I do it is to take my left stick and place it over the middle one. Like this. Then the right one goes in between the middle stick and the left stick. So like this. Then you lower it into position. And with this we have a tripod that we can rely on. Guys, I hope that this technique will come in handy. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you next time.